Hey guys, welcome back to my brand new video. In this video, we're going to be learning biology again after a long, like 16, 17 days for study videos. So we're back and uh, today we're going to be doing chapter two, structure of chromosomes, cell cycle and cell division. So first thing, what is this all about? So guys, here, what you have to remember is some of the important terms. Okay. So the first thing is we have chromatin fibers, right? Okay chromatin fibers. So basically in interface, the nucleus shows a network of very long, extremely thin, dark staining fibers called chromatin fibers. As a cell begins to enter the first stage, that is prophase of the cell division, the chromatin fibers condense to form chromosomes. Dyes and get colored, hence the name chromosomes. Chroma means colored, soma means body. So chromosomes. So chromosomes are highly condensed coiled chromatin fibers. Important. Then next page, structure of chromosome, very important part of this chapter. So the points you have to remember is centromere and centrosome, things like that, chromatids. So each chromosome in its condensed form as visible during the start of the cell division consists of two chromatids joined at some point along the length. This point of attachment is called the centromere. It appears as a small constricted region Okay, so talking about somewhere here, this one, this is known as the centromere, as they are marked, and these two things are chromatids. If we have to draw, we got to draw like this. Wait, it's not so perfect. It's not even close to perfect, but still, cool idea about it. So, yeah. Then uh, um, yeah, that's it. So on the right hand side, we have the chromatin. The chromatin material that constitutes the fiber is formed of two substances, DNA and histones. DNA full form is very important. Deoxyribonucleic acid about 40% and histones about 60%. Then we have the structure. So first, there's a cell. Then inside the nucleus, chromosomes, chromatin fibers, supercoiled, coiled, nucleosomes, uh, and surrounds a coil of eight histones to form nucleosome, and then DNA. Final. So yeah. Then now uh, we don't have to know about more about things. And uh, they're telling that the DNA, the concept of coiling and supercoiling, as also found in the chromatin fibers of the chromosomes. So they have given the example of the telephone, where they have coils taking place and uh, they have given an uh, example phased on to the chromatin fibers of the chromosomes. So just to give a brief, you know, idea about how it's, how it looks like or how you can understand better, they have shown this. So this is known as coil where it goes just like this and super coil is, okay, I hope you understood. 
right? Then we're done with the structure of uh, chromosomes and all those things. Then we have structure of DNA. Yes, here you have to remember quite a bit things, only three things, G, C, and T. So you may be wondering, uh, and one more, A. You may be wondering what are these? So here, G, C, T, A. So G and C always has triple bond. Whether it's G and C or C and G and G, it must be triple bond. It is triple bond. And A and T, for A and T, it's always double bond. This is double bond, T and A. So by the way, what are these G, C and A, T? So G, C, A, T are G means guanine, C, cytosine, A, adenine, and T. Yes. So after this, then we have here the cell divisions, new cell from the existing one. So new cells needed to be produced. So for growth, replacement, repair, and reproduction. And uh, then we have just a brief introduction again. And for man chromosomes, we have 46, 46, like 23 pair each, you know. Then uh, sperms and eggs, sex cells, that is 23 and 23 again, which brings up a new baby for 40 uh, out of 46 chromosomes that is eventually 23 pairs then we have the types of cell divisions mitosis and meiosis so cell division leading to the growth and development then cell division leading to the production of gamete cells then mitosis just brief introduction mitosis is a cell division in which one parent cell divides into two identical daughter cells. So phases of mitosis, the main important thing is karyokinesis. So here we have four steps, actually five steps, but the first step is the interface, which is not actually, you know, focus down because it's just a normal phase of normal no changes visible in that so but it's not that we don't give it an importance but yeah just remember there are five steps prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase then before prophase there is the interface there's a phase interface so important and uh, instead of reading all these we just go to the structure where it's more simpler to understand so here interface as i said there's no visible change in chromosomes but active synthesis of dna so we're talking uh, now we're talking about animal cell plants is also the almost the same thing so for now animal cell will discuss so so prophase first thing what happens is the centrioles start moving apart and raise the opposite poles something like this okay first they were like this right centrosome and now they became centrioles then aster aster same thing and uh, as i said when it goes to the poles it becomes two different centrioles okay instead of one central zone now it's divided and inside what happens is there is a formation of spindle fibers okay chromosomes are already duplicated as paired chromo chromatids as you can see these are chromatids so from chromatid fibers 
they've gone to chromatids. So yeah. And uh, then sister chromat uh, spindle fibers appear between daughters and telos, as I said. Then after that, we have metaphase. In metaphase, it's simple again. All the central, each uh, chromosome gets attached to a spindle fiber by its centromere. Then chromosomes lined up in one plane at the equator. This is the equator and they lie in the same line, straight line. And these are two, again, different. No, from at the central centrioles at the two different poles. Then anaphase. Here we have two different anaphase, late and early, early and late. So what happens is the centromere over here of the chromosomes divide and these two again start moving towards the poles to each other, towards the aster, towards the, towards the centrioles, right? Then something like this, then the furrow starts, the furrow starts and the furrow goes more deep and looks something like this. And eventually after everything, this is formed, the nucleus, the new nucleus and the two daughter cells are formed. Even in the plant cell, as you can see, this is the cell wall, which is being formed slowly. And uh, yeah, this was all about it. Then we have cytokine, uh, yeah, cytokinesis, which is the division of the cytoplasm, which is basically seen after only the telo, telophase, telophase, whatever you pronounce. Then we have uh, karyokinesis and cytokinesis. All the nuclear changes that occur during the cell division are collectively termed karyokinesis. Karyo means nucleus. Karyokinesis is followed by the division of the cytoplasm, cytokinesis. Then uh, difference in mitosis and uh, in plants and animal cell. It's simple, the nuclear and uh, chromosomal events of the mitosis in plant cell are the same as those in animal cells, but some differences are as follows. So we'll just go through this. It's all about the mitosis and mitosis in uh, animals and plants. So yeah, the significance of mitosis is important. So it's all about growth, repair, replacements, asexual, and the uh, same chromosome number. Right, and uh, that's it. Then we have meiosis, which is Again, uh, two uh, significance we have of meiosis. This was about mitosis, right? Oh, come on. Okay. Um, yep. I Okay, and uh, this is the cell cycle, which you have to remember. So we have uh, four, okay, G1, G, uh, S, G1 phase, S phase, G2 phase, and M phase, mitosis, yeah, M phase. So G1 is about the first growth phase, RNA proteins, and uh, are synthesized, mitochondria divide and uh, chloroplast divide and uh, synthesis phase, more DNA synthesized and chromosomes duplicate but remain unattached. Sorry, attached, sorry, sorry, remain attached. So second growth phase, more RNA and proteins synthesized. So yeah. And that was the cell cycle, then mitosis we have, then the significance is the chromosome number is half. Right, in gametes, sex cells, so that's that on the fertilization, the normal number two and is whistled. It provides for mixing up of the genes which occur into waste, the maternal and paternal chromosomes get mixed in. 
and during the first reduction division as they separate from the homologous pairs crossing joining while the maternal and paternal chromosomes are separating the chromatid material very often gets exchanged between the two members of the homologous pair resulting in genetic recombination then we have differences between the mitosis and uh, meiosis so just remember where it occurs what for when it occurs number of daughter cells produced number of chromosomes passed on each daughter cell number of nuclear divisions identified of identification of chromosomes and genes in daughter cells and uh, that's it just go through all about it and uh, yeah yeah and here we done with the chapter and the video so i hope you enjoyed and uh, learned something i told you whatever is important now you could easily sit and study carefully and you know enjoy learning and uh, we'll see you in the next video till then uh, take care everyone and uh, I'm sorry for the low voice because I have kind of cold. And yeah, I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, take care, everyone. And have a great day. Stay safe. And anyways, peace out, guys. Peace out.